Hey what's up everyone welcome back to my channel. In this video we will be going to learn about car animation in Blender. Over here I will be using an add-on named as Riga car add-on for the purpose of rigging the car which you can get for free from the link given in the description below. Just download the zip file, install it under preferences and you are ready to go. Before moving forward, the sponsor of this video is wingfox.com, a website where you can find amazing 3D and visual effects courses to learn. If you have interest in making concept art, then check out this course by Josh. It's a concept design course for beginner where you will learn everything starting from planning concept in Photoshop, setting up the 3D scene in Blender, making procedural textures, lighting scene, and finally compositing the result in Photoshop. Open the link given in the description and use the coupon code WFR15 to get an extra 15% off. So the first thing we need to do is to import the model. I got this car model from Sketchfab. I have placed the link for the same in the description. Just download it in GLTF format. Then go to files, then import and import as GLTF. Now we need to clear all the parenting data that the model came with. So press A to select everything. Then press Alt plus P and select clear parenting and keep transformation. Once the parenting is removed, go to select, select by all type and select empty. Then just simply delete them. Now we need to join the upper body as a single object. So for that first hide all the parts other than the upper body including tire and brakes. Then press A to select everything and press Ctrl plus J to join. Now we have our upper body as a single mesh. Now we need to do the same for the tires also. Just hide the unwanted parts. Then drag select the individual tire and simply press Ctrl J to join. Also for the add-on to work, we need the origin of the tire at its center. Hence right click on the tire and under set origin, select origin to geometry. Similarly, for brakes also, we need the origin to be at the center of the tire. First select our tire, then press Shift S and select cursor to selected. Now select the brake, right click and under set origin, select origin to 3D cursor. And now we can see the brake rotates around the center of the tire. Finally, we need to name everything as per the naming convention given in the documentation. Basically, there are only three types of object that is body, wheel and the brakes that you have to name accordingly. Finally, select all the tires and brakes, then shift select the body and press Ctrl P to parent everything to the body. Now we are ready to generate the rig. Press shift plus A and under armature, select car deformation rig. You will get this option only after installing the car rig plugin. On clicking it, it will generate a bone structure for the car. Then simply press N and under Riga car, select generate. And this will generate a rig for the car. So now we are ready to introduce path. Press shift plus A and under curve, add a path. Then scale it up to make a straight path. Now enter the pose mode, select the blue big arrow at the base. And under the bone constraint tab, add a follow path constraint. Select the target object as the curve we have just added and now by changing the offset value, you can control the position of the car. Check the fixed position option and this will make the offset factor to vary from 0 to 1 only. Also check in the follow curve option. Now go to the first frame and add an offset factor keyframe over there. Then go to the 150th frame and make the offset factor value 1 and add one more keyframe. Now we have simple straight movement of car. Again press N to open the side panel and under the Riga car, select Bake Wheel Rotation. And this will bake the wheel rotation according to its movement. While selecting the curve, enter the edit mode and extrude it further to get your desired path. Also in the dope shed, right click and under interpolation mode, select linear. And this will make the car move at a constant speed. Now for adding road, first we need to duplicate the path we have created for the car and simply rename it as road path. Also add a plane for the road, scale it up and under the textures panel, give it a new texture. Under base color, select image texture and load the suitable road image. Now under the modify section, we first need to add an array modifier, then we need to add a curve modifier. And using the picker tool, select the curve as the road path we have just created. Finally, increase the array count to fill up the road. You may also notice some sharp edges near the curvy part of the road. To fix it, select the road and press tab to enter the edit mode and add more loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R. 
This will resolve this problem. Finally, position the car near the base of the road, then press N and under the ground sensor option, select the ground as our road for all the options over there. Now add some curviness to our car path. On playing the animation, we can notice the sharp turn of car since there is no skid happening right now. For the purpose of adding skid, we have to select this back rig and rotate it along Z axis. While playing the animation, at the specific position, add a keyframe giving some rotation to this rig. After doing so, finally we will have some skidding effect. Now it's time to add buildings. So first add a cube which will resemble the height of building. Then under the texture panel, add a new material. In the surface, select emission and in the color, select image texture. Then load appropriate building texture. You may also need to correct the UVs. So press tab to enter the edit mode. Then press U and select cube projection. Also for the further corrections, you can manually unwrap some parts in the UV editor. For adding some shop texture, press Shift A and under images, select images as plane and select appropriate building texture. Now whenever we add images as plane, make sure that in material settings under the viewport display, change the blend mode from alpha blend to opaque as it is by default set to alpha blend. Now press tab to enter the edit mode and add some loop cuts near the windows and the pillars. Then simply select the windows and extrude it inwards. Also work further for the extrusion of the other parts including the shop gate and other things. In the textures, add a bump texture and plug the normal to the normal of the principal PSDF and color to the height of the bump and make the strength around 0.2. Then for the windows, we will be assigning different texture. Over here, add an emission texture and plug the color input from the image texture to the emission color. Then add a transparent BSDF and hold on shift plus control and then right click drag to connect the two shader using mix shader and connect the mix shader to the output. Now we will be creating duplicates of the same. Now for duplicating it, press alt plus D instead of control plus D. Using alt plus D, we create a different instance of the same. And if we do any changes to one instance, then it will affect the other instance also. But this is very helpful in saving memory, thus preventing the weave port from slowing down. In the similar manner, I populate the whole city with bunch of different buildings and all this building are the instances. There are two ways in which we can add camera animation. The first and the easiest way is to select the camera, then select our car and then press Ctrl P to parent it. Now our camera moves with the car. Now before adding keyframes to the camera, under the camera settings, in viewport display, turn on limits and under the composition guide, turn on thirds because following rule of thirds while animating can make our render looks more pleasant. Also increase the value of pass out to 1 to hide all the region outside camera perspective. Finally turn on the auto keyframe and then play the animation and move the camera at different position during different time frame. And in this way we can get done with the camera animation very quickly. The second way is to use follow path constraint. So before adding follow path constraint to the camera, we need our camera to be positioned at the origin. So first make sure the cursor is at origin, then select the camera and press shift plus s and select selection to cursor. This will move the camera at the origin. Now under the constraints tab, add a follow path constraint and select the path. Now we can change the camera position with the location and the size of the path. Finally, while playing the animation, we need to add rough keyframes for the value of offset factor and also for the rotation. Once we are done with this, we can open graph editor and over here you can see an offset factor. From here we can control the value of offset factor more precisely. Before starting, first we will convert everything to vector form. So while everything selected, right click and select V for the vector. This will help us getting more precise control over all the keyframes. Now you need to play with each and every keyframes while you get something specific you want. This process takes a lot of time but if you are willing to put more time and want more better results then this could be best one. Once you are done with the animation, it's time to make the steering and wheel rotation again. Now we need to populate our scene with traffic. But first we need to decrease the polygon count for optimizing our wave port. So open a new scene 
and import the car model. As we have done before, select everything and press Alt P to clear the parent first. Then go to select, under select all by type, select empty and delete all the empties. Now again go to select, under select all by type, select mesh and then simply press Ctrl G to join everything. So now we have our whole car as a single mesh. Now under the modify section, add a decimate modifier. You can see the number of face counts over here. We will be decreasing this face count using the ratio. For most of the cases, 0.2 works fine. And now you can see the face count has been decreased a lot. This may ruin the geometry, but it helps a lot in optimizing the weave port and thus prevent from crashing of blender. Now simply apply the decimate modifier. Save this blender file at the specific location. Now open our original blend file, then under the files go to append and append the models from the file we have just created. Then simply place all the vehicles appropriately and then press Alt plus D to duplicate them as an instance. So we are pretty much done with the animation. Now the only thing left is lighting. I have populated this scene with a bunch of traffic light. I have created this low poly traffic light and at the emitting part I have assigned a spotlight over there and just create more instances over the street. Also near the back of our car I also added point lights giving it red color and just parented all the lights to the car body. Finally we need to add depth of field. For that first press shift A and add an empty. Move this empty to the end of the car. While selecting it, select the car body and press ctrl P and parent it to the car. Now select the camera, under the camera options, enable depth of field and select the focus object as this empty. Finally decrease the value of f stop for increasing the focus. Then under the render settings, turn on the motion blur. And that's pretty much about lighting. So that's how I made this animation in Blender. You can get this model file from my Patreon, link in the description. Also if you enjoy watching this video and found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment on which part you like the most in the video. That's all for now, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.